This is a female ghost shrimp attempting to get rid of her young who are attached to the legs underneath her body. You look over here. We have another ghost shrimp who is acting similar, but I believe it's just a male trying to mate. I'm not absolutely certain what he's doing. But the female, as you can see, has all these little eggs and stuff attached to them, attached to her. These are actually small shrimp now. They're no longer eggs. And she's attempting to get rid of them, like I said. In the back, that way, you can hardly see her, is another ghost shrimp who is also carrying eggs. Hers are not as far along as the others. I have a school of dwarf live bears in back. Uh, mostly males chasing one female. They're hard to see, I know, I'm sorry. While she's doing this, she is also grooming herself. Well, I suppose that's it for now. Um, my trap videos will resume probably in a week. Well, let me show you why I'm taking so long with them. This is the triap aquarium. It has become a thick green water. My traps actually died because the heater went out and it got too cold for them. Now, the water has become a thick green liquid. And, uh, obviously I can't hatch eggs in this. But instead, I started raising a live feed for future generations of my triops. These are Daphnia. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correct or not, but I believe I am. Um, unfortunately, I can't really show you any of them at this time. There are these little dots in the water. Uh, I like to stay directly below the light, which is bad, because that's the only way this camera works. There we go. There's a few shots of them. But, my trot videos will indeed resume within about a week once I get my room in order. Another reason I'm taking so long is this over here. These containers are drying beds for triop eggs. The sand in them, now being dry, holds hundreds of eggs. If anyone is interested in purchasing these from me, I will be more than happy to sell them. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, that's it for now, guys. Goodbye.